Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today, Ontario conducted a draw that is human capital priority stream, which is not related to job offers. And they selected people at a quite uh, lower CRS as compared to the people who are in the pool right now with such high scores. So we will talk about that later in this video. But first, let me reiterate the fact that the OINP process, it's basically related to your express entry profile. So you don't need to create another application for applying for OINP. Okay, it's straightforward. They select you from the express entry pool. Okay, and after that, uh, if your knock code and if your CRS score uh, or any other criteria that they mention on their website if you fulfill that they send you a notification of interest that is NOI okay after you receive the NOI now is the time when you create an application and you get 45 days to submit that application in those 45 days what you will need to ask your ECA body to, sh to share that ECA report with OINP depending on which ECA body uh, you chose so you will have to look that up okay then you need to create a complete application on their portal OINP has a portal for the people who are already invited okay so you cannot really uh, uh, create an expression of interest for human capital priority stream for other streams um, they have this EOI system but at this point uh, HCP does not follow that EOI procedure so basically uh, after you were invited, then you create uh, an application over there, then you submit all your documents and within 45 days, you pay the fee uh, $1,500 that is other than the IRCC's express entry fee, which you will have to pay after uh, receiving your ITA. Okay, so you pay $1,500 uh, Canadian dollars fee to OINP and after that, if your application, if your uh, documents are accepted then they will give you a nomination which means 600 CRS points that will be added to your express entry profile okay with that being said currently as you know that FSW draws are nowhere to be seen okay so where does that leave us it leaves us with the last cutoff of FSW that was 468 and uh, in um, uh, two or three videos prior to this video, I told you that as long as they go, uh, they're going to delay the FSW draws, OINP candidates have a bright chance. So we can see in today's draw that they selected people in their 450s of CRS, right? So there were six knocks. Uh, I think the, the, the knocks were 2147. 2172 73 74 75 and then there was this um, IT manager knock I, I don't really remember the knock code it starts with zero okay so they selected these six knocks and they issued notification of interest meaning inviting them to submit an application on the OINP portal okay so uh, until until FSW draws resume Human Capital Priority Stream of Ontario, that is a PNP program, that is a valid PNP program, which does not require a job offer. And let me tell you that last year, 2020, and before that, 2019, they uh, invited almost 9,000 people from Express Entry Pool. And uh, 1,400 odd people were skill trades. Uh, 600, 900 odd people were from French speaking stream and 6,700 people were selected from the human capital priority stream. And at this point, currently, they have invited uh, 2,700 people, including today's draw. So that means that they still have to invite at least 4,000 more candidates from the human capital priority stream, which is tech draw and general draw. Okay, so you need to keep a check on that. So the longer FSW draws are delayed, uh, the fewer CRS is going to be selected by OINP. This is a bright side. I mean, I don't want to sp uh, spread negativity all the time because FSW draws are not resuming. 
So this is a bright side, okay? You need to look out for that so that you don't miss the boat when uh, Ontario selects your NOC and selects your CRS, okay? Because when FSW draws will resume, probably the CRS will be around 477, all right? So OINP, when they conduct a draw, they will follow the cutoff of 477. So you can imagine that the scores are not going to come below 465 for Ontario even. So uh, uh, these days, uh, until FSW draws are resumed, if Ontario keeps on conducting these draws once a month or twice a month, you will see that uh, the, they keep on selecting people within the 450s range, which is a good sign. So with these analysis, this is Alif Dakar and I wish you all the best for your PNP selection.